welcome back. Today, I'm going to share with you all of my tips and tricks to create three different hairstyles using a straightener. So we've got this voluminous straight look. I'm going to be sharing a beautiful glam waves. It's my go-to for events and parties. And then of course, everyone's favorite, the effortless beachy wave. Hard to believe that all of these hairstyles were created using only a straightener. And before we get started, leave a comment and let me know which of these hairstyles you're going to try. Okay. Now we can get started. All right, the first up is a voluminous straight look. This is my go-to hairstyle. I really love it because it just makes my hair look super healthy. And I have some waves left over from the other day, which is perfect, so I can really show you the transformation. So today's video is sponsored by Dyson. I'm going to be using the Dyson Corral. How beautiful is this case? So soft, but let me take it out. So I'm going to be using the Dyson Corral to create three different looks for you and just wait until you see this straighten my hair. It's magic. But you can check out the link in my description below to learn more about the Dyson Corral. All right, I'm going to go ahead and section off my hair just above my ears. Sectioning is key. You don't wanna miss and have any wavy pieces. All right, let's turn this on and I'm gonna set mine to 365 degrees Fahrenheit. I really love that it shows the temperatures here, but you could also set it to 330 or 410, just depends on your hair type. and. That's it beeping because it's already heated up. It's so quick, I love it. All right, so grab your first section and you want this to be a little bit smaller than the plates on your straightener. All right, and do you think that this will straighten this section of hair in one pass? Let's see. All right, so nice and close to the root and just begin sliding it down nice and slowly. And I like to twist my wrist like ever so slightly and I find this just helps give the hair a nice smooth finish. So just slide it down. And I like to, to just give my wrist a slight twist at the ends so that they have a little bit of a curl to them and they come out nice and bouncy. Like this. Okay, look at that. It straightened my wavy hair in one pass, which is amazing because that means a lot less heat damage. All right, I'm gonna toss this behind my shoulder and let's do another one. Are right, you ready? See how wavy this is? Place the straightener nice and close to the root. Give your wrist a slight twist to create that smooth finish. And if you have trouble straightening your hair, my biggest tip would be just to slow it down. It's better to go down one section nice and slow than to go down it multiple times. And then create that little bend at the end. All right, look at this. That was so quick. I just did three passes with my straightener and look at that difference. It's so cool. And my hair, it just feels so soft. All right, I'm going to section off my hair just below my temples and I wanna show you how to create that voluminous root. All right, so for these face framing sections, I really like them to have some volume. I just think it looks really pretty. All right, so what you wanna do is clamp nice and close to the root and then you just wanna direct it upwards while turning your wrist in towards your head to create kind of like a C shape. All right, you only need to do it once and then I just like to hold it while it curls. And I only do this for my front sections and the parts, so you don't have to do this every time. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is just place my finger kind of right under where that curl is. And I'm just going to carefully place my straightener right below it and just straighten exactly how I did before with that slight turn of the wrist. Do you see this? My hair stays perfectly in between the plates the entire time. It doesn't come out the top or the bottom. There's no tugging, it's super smooth. All right, so you can see we have a little bit of volume and then we have like a nice curve inwards on the ends. You're really gonna see it come together as I move up. And it especially makes a difference if you have like face framing layers, it looks so pretty. All right, let's do this section. So I'm not going to bevel the root. I'm just gonna go straight down. Is it just me or is watching this like super wavy hair come out of the straightener straight? Super satisfying. I love watching it. All right, I'm just going to unclip this top section. Let's move on up. 
All right, so if my hair wasn't waved right now and it was just its like regular, more straight kind of texture, I would be using this straightener on the lowest heat setting because straighteners, they rely on three things, right? You have heat, tension, and control. And since this one has better tension and control because of these flexible plates, you are able to use it at a lower temperature, which means less heat damage. And I'm really trying to focus on getting my hair to be its healthiest for 2021. So this is perfect. So again, face framing sections, what you wanna do is place your straighter nice and close to your root. Make sure you have all those little fine hairs along your hairline. And you just wanna gently curl it upwards in a C shape. Take it off and just let this cool for a couple seconds. And then I'm just going to place my finger underneath that bevel and let's slowly straighten this section. I love how smooth this is. It's so great. And don't forget that little twist at the end. So pretty. All right, and as I move my way back across my part, I'm just going to continue creating that bevel at the root so that we have lots of volume. All right, so we have before and we have after. I really love this side. I love how it's straight, yet it's still really soft, voluminous. It has a lot of movement and shine, which I think looks super healthy. And I love how we still have like a little bit of lift here at the root. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly repeat the exact same steps on the right side. So all you really need to remember is Go nice and slow down your sections and give your wrist a slight twist to create some volume and movement. Oh, and don't forget to bevel the sections at your part and I will meet you at my bangs. All right, so for my bangs or this front section, I really want them to kind of like swoop away from my face and just frame it. I think it looks really pretty. So what I'm going to do is section off that front bit and I'm just going to do this in two different sections. Okay, so I'm going to place the strainer really close to my root and just slowly slide down while twisting my wrist away from my face. And you can grab onto the ends, they're cool to the touch. And I'm just going to continue sliding down and twisting the wrist will just create this really pretty swoop away. All right, cool. Let's do it on this piece right here. Same thing. Give your wrist a slight twist away from your face and just slowly slide it down. All right, how simple was that? So I'm just going to brush these out and you can already see how that little swoop just kind of frames my face. I think it looks so pretty. I love this straight look. Like I love how my hair is super straight, yet it has a lot of volume. There's a lot of body. It just looks so soft. This is my favorite way to style my hair. I just think it makes my hair look super healthy. And can you believe this is day three hair. All right, time for the next tutorial. I think you're really going to like it. All right, next up is Glam Waves. This is my favorite hairstyle for events or for weddings. It's just so easy and looks so nice. And I tried to dress the part for you. <laughs> All right, so I am going to set my straightener to 410 degrees Fahrenheit. This is quite hot, but my hair can handle it. But definitely play around with the heat settings for your hair type. All right, for Glam Waves, I love a deep part. So take your finger or the end of a comb, just line up your part with the arch of your eyebrow and then just trace backwards. And I just think a super straight part looks very chic. Awesome. Now I'm just going to section off my hair above my ears. Okay, so I'm going to start on the left side, the side that has less hair. So whichever side that is for you and you want to grab a section no wider than your hair straightener. And we want these curls to go towards our face, which is the opposite of what I usually like. But trust me, it looks so beautiful. All right, so to achieve that, you want the end of your straightener pointing out towards the front and we're going to clamp nice and close to the root. And then right away, you wanna twist your wrist towards your face so the curl starts nice and high. And then just slide it through your hair. Can you see how the hair just stays? It's so smooth. There's no tugging, I love it. All right, cool. We have our perfect curl and this next step is key. All right, so I like to take my index finger while your curl is still hot and you just want to scoop up the middle of your curl like that. And then you wanna curl it towards your head so it's in this circle shape. And from here, you can either let it cool in your hand, but I love to clip them. This is going to ensure that they last 
all night long. And I just use these alligator clips, but I even used to use bobby pins. It's no problem. Perfect. I clipped it to my head. That way this curl will cool and set in this shape and it'll just last forever. All right, let's do one more. You know what? I have to show you my favorite feature of the Dyson Corral and it's this docking station. Like I finally have somewhere safe to put my straightener in between sectioning. I no longer have to worry about burning surfaces. I know I'm not the only one. Plus the docking station, it charges this in between sectioning. Like the battery life lasts about 30 to 35 minutes, which is enough time to do my whole head. But sometimes I get talking and yeah, next thing you know. So the dock is super helpful. All right, let me show you again. So again, the end of your straightener is pointing out towards the front. Get nice and close to that root. Give your wrist like a half twist so that the hair is coming out the top and just glide it on down. See how the hair stays? So cool. Awesome. Help shape your curl. Place the straightener in the dock nice and safe. And then you just want to gather your curl, roll it on up and clip it to your head. All right, so now I'm on the right side and let me show you how I curl it away from my face. All right, so same idea, except we want these curls to go away from our face. So you want the bottom of your straightener still pointing towards the front and you just wanna clamp nice and close to your root. Then you wanna twist your wrist about a half twist in towards your head and just glide it on down. So same idea, scoop your curl while it's still warm and clip it into place. All right, bottom is done, not looking too glam yet, but it will, I promise. So now I'm just gonna section off my hair just below my temples. And I want to show you again here, I just think it's a little bit easier to see on this section. All right, grab your straightener and make sure you get all of these little hairs right here, especially if they're curly like mine. All right, same idea, bottom facing the front, clamp down, twist your wrist towards your face, and then slide down. Look how smooth that is. So typically I use a curling iron for these curls, but I have to tell you, they last so much longer using a straightener, like days longer. So if you're somebody whose hair has a hard time holding a curl, I'm telling you, try doing it with a straightener. And if you want a little bit more volume, you can just pull your section up and then clip it, and that'll help give you a little bit more lift. All right, I'm going to finish off this right side and I'll meet you back up at my part so that I can show you how to make it nice and voluminous. All right, I'm just going to section off my front section and we are going to do this last. And as you're moving up your head, you're just gonna keep on moving in horizontal sections. All right, last section, we made it. All right, so I'm just gonna divide the front section into two, but I'm gonna wrap it up into one. So same idea, I'm gonna clamp it nice and close to the root and just twist away from my face. Okay, so I'm gonna blend these together, do the good old scoop and clip. All right, there we have it. What a cool look. All right, so you just wanna let this cool, I don't know, for at least five minutes and you just wanna hit it with a light spray, a light hold hairspray. All right, we're cooled, time to take out the clips and you just wanna start at the bottom and work your way up. And as you take out your clips, you just wanna to try to maintain the shape of that curl. Okay, look at these curls, they're so cute, but we need to take these from prom curls to glam curls. So you can either use your hand, a wide tooth comb, or a paddle brush. All right, and what you wanna do is very gently and slowly, I don't know why, but slowly makes a difference, just brush your curls against your body. All right, you can see it's looking a little glam already. And I'm really only brushing through each section like once or twice. And just keep playing around with it. If you have any curls that are super defined, like this one, just go on in and break them up and fluff them out. All right, I love these. Now what you wanna do is just tightly tuck your hair behind your ear. And then what I like to do is just dress it up with a bret. Which one do I wanna do? So pull this hair nice and tight, place it in front of your ear and slide her up. So there we have it, Glam Waves with a straightener. I love how these turned out. I think it looks so beautiful. I just wish that I had somewhere to go. All right, time for the soft and effortless beach waves. All right, so I already went ahead and I just sectioned off my hair just above my ears. You want to work in about two to three inch sections like this. 
All right, so what you wanna do is place your straightener nice and close to your root, and then you wanna twist that section in towards your face in a C shape for two seconds. Then you just twist your wrist the other way, creating another C shape away from your face. And you wanna twist enough that your hair is touching the straightener. And then you just continue this pattern down the rest of your section, nice and slowly, keeping that iron moving as much as possible. All right, there we have it, our first wave. How pretty is that? Like, I love how natural and soft these waves look. And my biggest tip is try to avoid touching it so that this can cool and set. Okay, for this next section, we're going to do the same pattern except opposites. So place your straightener nice and close to your root. And for the first C, you want this to go away from your face for two seconds and then towards your face for two seconds away for two and these tips right here are cool to the touch so I like to pinch them it just gives you more control and this also helps to distribute the weight of the corral and make sure you go all the way to the ends all right how pretty is that you'll definitely see the transformation once I do all of my hair but I really love how these look all right I'm going to quickly finish up the right side and then I want to share with you another technique that you might find easier all right, so go ahead, section your hair off just above your temples and grab your next section. And let me show you this other technique. All right, same as before, place your straightener nice and close to your root. Make sure you get these little baby hairs right there. And I'm going to curl in towards my face for two seconds. And then you take your straightener out. All right, so we have our first wave. And then you're just going to place your straightener just below that wave and curl out away from your face for two seconds and then take it off so you can see you have an s coming through and now you're gonna place it just below and turn it in make sure the hair is touching the top of your straightener take it off just below it twist for two amazing just below it twist for two don't forget your ends all right so that's that wave i feel like it's actually a little bit more defined it's going to take you a little bit longer but i'd love to know if you've tried both techniques which one do you find easier all right you already know grab your next section and don't forget to twist it in the opposite direction this is going to help create a lot more volume a lot more movement and it'll help prevent your waves from clumping together all right so i have shared a lot of beach waves with a straightener on my channel and I have to say the plates the shape the material of this one honestly make waving your hair so much easier can you see how smooth like this just glides through my hair and all the hair just stays in between those plates it makes it so easy I love how I'm like avoid touching them let them set and I keep touching them but yeah try not to touch them so I'm sure you get the gist of it. I'm just going to continue waving my hair. And for these lower sections, if you wanna speed things up, you can definitely grab larger sections. And then as you get closer to your part, just grab some smaller ones so that everything blends right in. And I assure you, it's a lot faster than it looks, especially once you get the hang of it, it's super quick. All right, I had to pop in quickly because look at these waves. I just love how they're coming out. Okay, that's it. <laughs> All right, so if you've tried these waves and they just aren't working for you, you might need a little bit of help with some product. So what I'd recommend is applying a little bit of hairspray first, or you could use some mousse when your hair is damp, and this will help lock in that wave. All right, so if you have bangs or face framing pieces, I think it looks really pretty to just curl them away from your face. And this is just the same technique that I used for the glam waves. All right, time for the best part. You want to just go in and very gently kind of break up your waves, make them look a little less perfect. And how I like to do this is to just find a wave and just gently pull it apart. But that's it. Now, if you've made it this far, I would love if you left a comment and let me know which of these hairstyles you're going to try. But I had so much fun creating this video. I really hope that you found it helpful and learned something new. This is actually my last video in this space, so we can say goodbye and stay tuned for what's next. But if you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.